Let me ask you a question. If you could go back to March 11th, 2022, and tell me the things I would do afterwards, do you think I'd believe you? If you told me that I'd completely redesigned my channel and brand, or that I'd break 100 views on multiple of my videos, or even that I'd make a full-blown movie based on a story prompt from three years ago, what would I say? Well, I'd most likely say that those were cool ideas, but I mean, me? At my size and supply, there's no way I could ever pull those off. It's all wishful thinking, and yet, here we are. Hello everyone, I am Mittens the Mailbox, and today I celebrate six years of this channel. Kinda crazy, right? A full year has passed since the five year anniversary came around, and to say a lot has changed, well, that'd be a bit of an understatement. We hit some of the highest highs over the last 12 months, and did things I thought were impossible. I branched down into new areas, developed new mediums, and even got to welcome in a new chapter of my life. Today I'd like to take you back through the highlights of the past year, remembering the events that brought us the channel we know and love today. We'll revisit the beloved stories that built this place up, and shine a light on the achievements once thought to be a dream. And finally, we'll change our gears towards the future, looking ahead at future plans, ideas, and changes soon to come as I and my life begin to start a new era. So without further ado, welcome to the six year anniversary of Mittens the Mailbox. Before we start, however, I'd like to point a few things out. Since this is the six year anniversary of this channel, I'll mainly be focusing on things that happened during the last year. If you'd like a more in depth explanation of the first five years of my channel and all my creative outlets, I'd highly recommend popping over to the five years video I made. It's a bit longer than what I usually do around here, and a little bit rough around the edges, but it's very useful in describing my past history, journey, and development up to that point. Also, this isn't the first recap I've made of these events, so if you'd like a few other videos to learn about what happened and when, I'd highly recommend the Summer Update and the 2022 Rewind. With that out of the way, let's begin! Our recap starts just a few days after the 5 years video dropped, delving late into the month of March as a new era for the channel was being ushered in by none other than Aspen Frost Ian. Aspen and I have been friends for many years, and began their own streaming journey in January 2022, just a few months before all this happened. Aspen had watched the video when it came out and was incredibly moved by it, and in an act of genuine kindness reached out to multiple commissioners for art. By the time the 20th had rolled around, I was given a new reference and look for Willow, a brand new Minecraft skin to go along with it, and an entirely new channel logo and banner art. To say this was huge doesn't fully sell the impact this still has on me today. This not only completely revolutionized how I drew my Sona for the channel, but also was the first big step in making this channel more... me. Before this all started, I was still under the same blue pickaxe as my logo, the one I myself hadn't made but found randomly on the internet. After five years of keeping it around, it was finally time to transition into a profile that represented the me I am today, and say goodbye to the me who had started all those years ago. It was a breath of fresh air for the first time in a long while, and I felt excited to see where the future could take us. Shortly after, I would continue to upload videos onto the channel in the same style I had been before, come up with ideas, execute them, and put them out into the world. I didn't have any set plans yet for regular videos, so it was a gamble to figure out what came next, but there was one requirement I had to follow. In 2021 on New Year's Eve, I made myself a list of goals to reach before the end of 2022 on stream, and I made them in a world you've probably heard of here and there. Connection point. It's my regularly streamed survival world that is still ongoing to this day. Shameless plug, go watch my streams. As stated before, I made this list of goals to reach by the end of 2022, both in and out of the world itself, and one of those was for uploading. Upload a minimum of one video per month. This was to keep myself moving along even when times felt tough, as I have struggled with that during 2019 and 2021. This will lead to some very fun videos being uploaded during this in-between period of change, including an Easter video, an art meme, and even a building tutorial. Despite only lasting a fairly short time, these videos were fun to make, and I'm still pretty proud of them. And now we pull up the big guns, the grand wave of improvement, the light shining ahead of us, it was all open doors from here. The summer had arrived. 
Now, summer wasn't just a better time to upload videos because I wasn't just going home for the break. I was graduating high school, and with it came a full wave of more time, more resources, and more importantly, more energy. I was officially done with school for the near future, so I could put all the energy I wanted into the little passion projects I call my channels. After going through many options and testing out many offers, I finally settled on a new editing program I could use outside of school, HitFilm, the one I still use today. It allowed me way more freedom than Windows Movie Editor could provide, while also being free and having long-lasting capabilities. This would set the stage for my first video of the change, the Summer Update, where I announced much of what I've talked about so far. But one change stood far above the rest, one I didn't even realize would shape this channel for months to come. Now what was this huge, life-altering change I've mentioned? Well, it was actually quite a small adjustment at the time. In the video I would announce my new streaming schedule, shifting around the days and putting in a more concrete starting time so that I could have a bit more consistency. However, the biggest note was that I would no longer be streaming only Minecraft, and it would instead mix in a weekly Wednesday stream where I'd start doing blind playthroughs of games I'd heard about, but never got the chance to play. This would not only give me the opportunity to branch out and explore new titles, but also make sure I wasn't stuck in one category of game. As much as I love Minecraft and the time put into it, it is nice to break it up every so often. This, as well as a very generous gift from my good friend Jade, would lead to the very first playthrough of the game on my channel, Celeste. Celeste had such a massive impact on me that I don't even know how to fully put into words. If you look back on my past attempts at a series, you'll quickly notice a pattern. A bunch were started, a few made it beyond the launch, but all would eventually disappear from a number of circumstances behind the scenes. The end product was a lot of starts, but not a single ending in sight. So when I chose Celeste as the first game to play, stream, and make videos from, not only was I immersed in the world, the story, the characters, but also I got to celebrate seeing a series start and end together with everyone watching, hyping up episodes, reaching 100 videos on my channel, and even making the coolest finale ever to this day. I made my own intros, streamed the final level of Celeste for almost 4 hours, and even got to include fan art made by the community. I mean it from the bottom of my heart when I say that this not only changed me, but it changed everything for the better. It truly was a time to be alive. Being able to say goodbye to Celeste was a blessing in itself, but what would come next? Well, that would take the form of the next playthrough, Hollow Knight. Being the second game Jade got me, and the one I'd heard good things about from my friends, I decided to take up the opportunity to play it next. In a similar yet slightly different approach, I crafted my own unique intro for the series, chaining up the style of editing for the switch between story platformer and action adventure. This switch was a hard one to get used to during this time, as I gotten very used to the style and relative success of the former. Switching it around was a task of both skill and patience, but eventually I'd come around to the game in full, and as you can probably tell, it's still ongoing to this day. It's one I hold very dearly in my heart, and was soon to be followed with some news I never would have expected. This was an incredible time for the channel, and goals were being met that I never expected to hit. Around the time of Celeste coming to a close, I was once again given a very kind gift from another friend of mine, Coley. If you've been around for a while, you've more than likely heard their name before, and they were the person who drew the first new profile for the channel. They wanted to do a redesign of the image and make a better version, and within a few days, I had fully switched over to it. And if you're curious, yes, this is the one I have stuck with since then, and I am incredibly happy with how it came out. It really helped shout out who I am just like the first one did, and I always love seeing it when I open the site. The next milestone, however, came around the end of Hollow Knight's first batch of episodes, mid-October to be exact. I'd been eagerly watching the sub count for many months at this point, and it was slowly ticking up and above 90. As I began to wind down videos for an upcoming announcement, I was hit with an incredible goal. I had reached 100 subs on the channel, and it was the first three-digit number in over five and a half years. I was, and to be perfectly honest, still am astonished that I made it that far. My channels have never been known for their growth in any sense of the word, so every one of them counted in such a unique way. Hitting 100 was the first glimmer of hope that maybe one day, I could use this platform as a full-time career, no matter how far that may be. And yet, there still was one more feat I had to achieve to finish off this year right. And it was big.
To describe Hemlocks in a short time at this point is near impossible, but I'll give it my best shot. Cage the cartoonist made a video in early 2020, and it went viral. It attracted a large group of people to his newfound Discord server, and their multiple story ideas were born off of the group interactions. Hemlocks was one such idea, and the only one to survive on that matter, which was then moved to its own channel, category, and eventually server as we continued to expand on its story, background, and characters. From there on, I'd become a main organizer for the project and the one who talked about it online, starring in its first appearance of the Six Month Mafia AU anniversary video. With all that said, I'd been itching to make an updated video about it since then, but with a rough storyline, massive plot holes, and missing character details everywhere, I kept pushing the idea away. The project during 2021 was still majorly incomplete, and it was only in April of 2022 that the first beams of light shone through the cracks. After the major uptake in backstories and details, I started planning in late July to make the biggest video I'd ever worked on. I wanted to break through the hour-long barrier I had yet to achieve thus far, and include as much as I could about the whole of Hemlocks, how it got here, what it is, and why you should care about it. In late October, I'd go on a short hiatus, halting videos while I began to voice act, direct, and edit the project together. I dropped the trailer for it in mid-November and began to officially call it a film. A movie, if you will. It was an incredible undertaking, with a script 47 pages long and the unedited voice lines totaling over three hours. I knew I had a shot way farther than I'd ever hoped, and it took many long days and nights to pull it all together. And yet despite regular setbacks, broken deadlines, and constant fears for the end date, it finally happened. An hour and 48 minutes, a full-blown film going over everything there was to know about our little project we called Hemlocks. And it wasn't just a success, no, it was the best performing thing I'd ever made. In less than a week it broke 100 views, which very few videos have managed. And as of writing this, it's almost at 200. It is the longest, most impressive, most creative piece of media I have ever achieved here. And I will never stop being proud of it. To see it so well received by my friends, the Hemlocks team, and the community I have brought me to tears, and I wish I could express how thankful I am to everyone who's seen it. It was everything I hoped it would be, and even more than I ever dreamed it could, and it was what cemented this year, 2022, as the year I'd been the most proud of, ever. As Hemlocks was enjoying its success, the year began to turn into the cold, lovely December air. With the strength I didn't know I had, I began to start up Hollow Knight videos again, dropping one every week until the very end of the year. With how much this year had changed me, shaped me, and improved who I was, I wanted to send it out with a bang, and I would not go quietly into the night. I worked tirelessly over those last few days, pulling out every stop I could to make my final shout into the brightest light I had, my 2022 Rewind. A full video with every upload, milestone, drawing, tweet, and stream moment I could find, summing it all up into one glorious goodbye at the change I held to make a reality. It was bittersweet to be honest, to say goodbye to something that had changed me forever, something I'd look back on fondly as times to remember. But if there was one thing this year taught me, it was a lesson, taught to me by Season 5 of the Wonderland SMP. It's been a while since I've mentioned the server, as it came to a close in July of 2022, but its lesson still rings true to this day. The past is also clear, and the future is a dark unknown. Sometimes it feels like you should just stay where it's safe, stay behind and don't move towards whatever is out there. But the thing is, you never truly leave the past behind. You, as you are now, are a combination of every experience, friendship, and relationship you've lived through. You are the product of every single moment you've lived in, of every quiet secret to each loud change. The world is always moving, and you will have to move too. But you don't have to forget, so hold on to those memories that you find dear. Remember the times that made you laugh, and remember the struggles that made you stronger. The future is open with possibilities, filled with new chances to do better things, meet better people, and even find better happiness. The point was never to leave everything behind. It never has been. It was to hold on to the things that made you who you are, and never let that hold you back. The timeless echoes of reality may chime in our ears, but we live on to answer back to it to remind it of what it gave us, who it made us, and to never forget. After a year of new beginnings, bigger goals, and the world at our fingertips, I took a break to relax. I took off the month of January to help myself recharge, after the craziness that was the end of the 2022 grind. During this time, I kept streaming and drawing like usual, and eventually began to prepare for my return back into the world of content. It was a nice pressure off my back to have one less thing on my agenda, but there were a few things I was also dreading, and those were harder to ignore once 2023 began. 
my own future. To pull the curtains back a bit, things have been in motion for a while now. Being out of school for almost a year, I knew the world would catch up to me eventually, and behind the scenes I've been working on the usual adult things, learning how to drive, finding a job, and making plans to move out. I still have a few months before it all comes to fruition, but it is still a large change to my life and how I live. As things have started to shift around in massive ways, videos have become a little less frequent in February, as you've probably noticed. With the addition of becoming incredibly sick recently, the beginnings of March haven't been so hot either, but that's never been something to stop me. Will this affect videos moving forward? No idea yet, but there will be an update video at some point soon once things are more concrete. And with all of that done, well, we've reached the end. To sum it up lightly, the past year has been incredible, and the road ahead holds a lot of potential for both me and this channel moving forward. It's been an insane six years on this platform, and to know that I still love making videos here sparks my joy every day, and I hope I continue that through the next year. The future is always unknown, but I do know one thing, 2023 will not be 2022. It never has, and I've never tried to make it be. Like I said earlier, the future is waiting, and we move forward into it to honor the past we built. I will always honor the legacy I made during the past year, and no matter what happens after, I have always been proud to be your host. I've been Mins the Mailbox, and I thank you for six years of YouTube. Thank you so much. Just, just, you know, just for the camera, just so you could know. I'm actually being messaged by Jade right now because I asked them what they've been up to. Just because I was curious. Nothing much. They said nothing much. We're winning. We win these. Let's go.